Hi, this is Cassandra coming back with another video. Today I just wanted to come back and talk about how the cult would like to use uh, certain scriptures out of the Bible and try to uh, act like it's a, a religion instead of an organization because they know that uh, an organization have to uh, prove things, you know, here on earth, but the uh, religions, they don't. They always promise you something in the afterlife, uh, like uh, one of the uh, other uh, YouTubers said that, you know, you can't prove if you got that or not once you reached over on the other side or wherever they said you were going. But here, if they had to just say that they were an, were an organization, then they would have to prove these things. They like to use uh, different scriptures out of the Bible, too, to try to act like they're a religion, like uh, certain scriptures like uh, the heart is so treacherous or the heart is so deceitful and you can't trust it and everything. They like to say that uh, things like that because they want to uh, make you feel that you can't use your own uh, intuition and your own discernment because those are the things that the heart has to do with, you know, uh, when you when we were younger and everything and you knew that you didn't really want to be a part of it. But you couldn't feel uh, go by your feelings or your intuitions or anything. You had to go by what they told you. They want you to focus on uh, your brains or what they tell you because they, they, they are the ones that are brainwashing you. So they want you to focus on using the brain uh, power instead of your, your heart, your intuition, your, uh, your inner, your stomach part. They don't want you to use any of that. They want you to use just your mind. So they will go ahead and uh, cherry pick a scripture like your heart is dis uh, deceitful and, and you shouldn't use it. And that's the same thing when we were uh, just uh, trying to find marriage partners and stuff like that. They didn't care if you married somebody that was so old or whatever when you were uh, inside of the cult. They didn't care about anything that could be. Uh, not that, you know, somebody can't marry somebody that's very old or whatever, because if people get along, they love each other, or whatever, then that's fine. But what I was trying to say is that they want to make sure that you just focus on, on brain. Like if they go out in field service or they make their time or if that's a pioneer or if that's a, uh, uh, overseer or a elder or something, you can marry them. I don't care, you know, what the circumstances are. If you, uh, go out in field service and everything together, that's going to make you a great couple knowing that, you know, relationships are based more, you know, on things more than that. But they don't want you to feel that way. They like to say things like, uh, you know, the uh, faithful, you have to be a slave and be be uh, true, you know, good to your masters and stuff like that. They like to, you know, say that you're a good for nothing slave because they want you to be able to just do everything that the organization tell you to do. So they like using particular scriptures and try to uh, hide behind being a religion when it's uh, necessary, when they get that, that tax cuts and stuff like that. They love that. But uh, in the other day, in, in other time, they're just really say deny being a religion. You know, they always say that they're an organization, but when it comes to uh, different little scriptures and stuff like that, and, you know, things like uh, tax cuts, then they run and say that they are religion. So anyway, uh, don't let them uh, fool you like that and say that they are uh, uh, a religion, really. When it comes to it, they are a organization uh, slash cult that uh, will only work you to death and, and get all of your goods, but they will not return anything to you. Uh, they will not want you to use your own discernment. Just like I was uh, thinking, like when I went uh, around the uh, funeral uh, members, the people that were at the uh, funeral, and uh, they didn't know from the, their uh, own from their hearts that I was uh, a, a so-called apostate. Uh, they only know that because somebody told them, or if I would have tried to act like I was an apostate, or didn't you know sit up, go somewhere and sit in a corner or something like that, which I would never do. But that will be the only way that they would know that their own hearts and discernment uh, couldn't tell them that for themselves. It would just be somebody have to have to read out instructions and laws. So that's what uh, they are, are, are people like that. And in, in the scripture, it said in the last days that uh, God would be putting his uh, instructions inside of the hearts of his people. And uh, for you to say that the uh, heart is treasure was and don't trust it, then that wouldn't you wouldn't be a, a candidate if you felt that way. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, come back and just say uh, that uh, the cult would like for people to uh, believe their organization uh, when it's beneficial, a religion when it's beneficial. All right, I hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks for watching.